good morning here uh, today's topic is power transmitted by a belt you know power transmitted by a belt that is known to you our objective is to find out the velocity for which the power transmission by a belt will be maximum okay for open belt drive i am going to show you the uh, condition for which power transmission will be maximum okay so uh, in the last class you have seen that uh, uh, we found out the ratio of the tensions t1 and t2 which was equal to e to the power mu theta where mu was coefficient of friction and theta was the angle uh, subtended by the belt at the center of the pulley at the center of the driven pulley okay so here so to do this uh, uh, t1 and t2 are present it is known to you but since the belt is passing over the pulley and the pulley is rotating so the belt is also rotating and since the belt is rotating therefore there will be some centrifugal force acting on the belt okay and due to the presence of the centrifugal force there will be centrifugal tension acting on the belt so we have to take into account the effect of the centrifugal force also means centrifugal tension also so first of all we need to find out what is the amount of centrifugal tension acting on the belt so to uh, do this first of all let us draw the driven pulley this is the driven pulley and this is the center of the pulley and take a small part say this part okay take a small part of the belt this is belt because belt passes over the pulley okay so this is the small part say this angle this angle it is delta theta i am writing here okay this center is o okay and this point is m and this point is a this and this uh, radius of the pulley is r okay therefore the length uh, the arc length mn that is equal to what arc length mn that is equal to r into delta theta okay and where from the centrifugal force will be acting that will be acting from the midpoint of mn say the midpoint of mn is this this point therefore centrifugal force will be acting this way say centrifugal force is denoted by fc okay fc so due to the centrifugal force centrifugal tension will be acting at point m and at point a suppose those forces are this is tc and this is also tc okay because why both are tc because these angles are same this is delta theta by 2 and this is also delta theta by 2 right i am writing here delta theta by 2 so uh, here you take the component of tc in this direction just opposite to fc and take the component of this tc in the opposite direction of fc so what will be the component it is clear from the figure that component will be Tc sin delta theta by 2. So Tc sin delta theta by 2. Say this is the component for this force, the lower one. For the upper one, component will remain the same. That is plus Tc sin delta theta by 2. Okay. And this is equal to what? This is equal to the opposite force Fc, which is equal to centrifugal force. Okay, let me check whether the right hand side corner is visible or not. Yeah, it is visible. There is no problem at all. Okay, so from here, uh, we can write 2Tc, 2Tc, and since delta theta by 2 is very small, therefore sine delta theta by 2 can be approximated as delta theta by 2. Okay, so right here, delta theta by 2. Okay. And Fc is what? Fc is centrifugal force. So, suppose uh, 
small m, small m, this is the mass of the belt per unit length. It is what? It is mass of the belt of the belt per unit length. Per unit length. Right? M is the mass of the belt per unit length. Then what is the mass of this uh, portion Mn? That is equal to this mass multiplied by the length. Length is what? Length is R delta theta. Therefore, what is the mass of the part Mn? It is equal to M into R into delta theta. That is the mass. Am I right? And do you know that uh, centrifugal force that is equal to Mv square by R means mass into square of the linear velocity divided by the radius. So mass is how much? Mass is m into r into delta theta. This is the mass. Am I right? Into square of the linear velocity. So which is equal to say linear velocity is v. So v square divided by r. So this is the centrifugal force. So this r and this r are cancelled. Here these two and these two are cancelled. And from both sides delta theta is cancelled therefore we are getting what tc is equal to tc is equal to what tc is equal to m v square okay so this thing we have got from here so this is what tc is centrifugal force m is what m is not the total mass m is not total mass of the belt it is mass of the belt per unit length say capital m Say capital M is the total length of the belt, uh, so sorry, total mass of the belt, and uh, say L is the total length of the belt, therefore small m is what? This is equal to capital M by L. Okay, this is the total mass of the belt divided by the total length of the belt. So total mass by total length that becomes equal to mass of the belt per unit length. Okay, that mass has been used here. Okay, so now we have uh, got the value of Tc, expression for Tc we have got. Now I need to erase this portion, okay, size of the bow is so, so small, so just by erasing the another part, the remaining part can be solved here or can be shown here. So remain, remaining part is what, oh sorry, I have forgotten to, uh, forgotten to write the Topic here. Topic was power transmitted transmitted by the belt. This topic is right or wrong? Power transmitted by the belt. No, our target was maximum power transmitted by the belt. So here I should write maximum. Maximum power transmitted by the belt. Okay, so our expression was what? Our expression was what? First of all, let us uh, assume that P, capital P, that uh, expresses power. Okay, so we know that power, this is equal to what? Power is equal to force into velocity. So for belt drive, what is the effective force? T1 is tension at one side, T2 is the tension at another side. So what is the effective force? Effective force is nothing but T1 minus T2. Okay. So T1 minus T2 is the effective force. And if you multiply this effective force by the linear velocity of the belt, so you will get power. This is V. It is linear velocity of the belt. So this is the expression for power. Again, in the last class, you have seen that T1 divided by T2 that was equal to e to the power mu theta. e means it is exponential e. mu is coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley. And theta is the angle subtended by the belt at the center of the driven pulley. Okay. So this was the expression. This was the ratio for T1 and T2. So from here we can write, uh, we can write what? T2. T2, this is equal to T1 divided by e to the power mu theta. Am I right? 
it is equal to this much therefore power is equal to what therefore power this is equal to this is equal to t1 minus this one okay e to the power mu theta multiplied by v so from here you can take t1 as common so it becomes 1 minus 1 by e to the power mu theta into v okay now you just assume that uh, just for the sake of mathematical simplicity you just assume that this expression 1 minus 1 by e to the power mu theta is equal to k okay so t1 k v this is what this is power okay now what is the maximum tension acting on the belt maximum tension so say t suffix max stands for maximum tension on the belt that is equal to what you know that here t1 and t2 was there t1 was the tension on the uh, tight side and t2 was the tension on the slack side and you know that t1 is more than t2 tension in the tight side is more than the tension in the slack side so here t1 was greater than t2 therefore for the calculation of maximum tension you have to use this t1 not t2 right so t max it is equal to t1 plus what t1 plus centrifugal tension tc okay t1 t max is equal to t1 plus tc so from here we can write t1 this is equal to t max t max minus tc and tc is what am i right or wrong here t max was equal to t1 plus tc and uh, expression for tc was mv square uh, T1 I'm getting confused a little bit uh, T max this is equal to what? T1 plus Tc and our expression of P is equal to T1 kV so this T1 should be replaced by T max so there is no confusion okay so this T max is there so this you write T max and tc was equal to mv square this is m okay t max minus mv square now you just uh, substitute the expression for t1 here okay whether the left hand side is visible or not uh, yeah it is visible so i can solve here so therefore p therefore p this becomes equal to what t1 kv was there and t1 is equal to this much so I can write here T max minus 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 mv square mv square okay and this is T1 multiplied by kv kv okay k is equal to the hot k is equal to this much 1 minus 1 by e to the power mu theta so this becomes what this becomes k then T max into v minus m v q right so this is the expression for p in terms of v and you know that for maximum power transmission the derivative of this power with respect to this velocity linear velocity will be zero so you find out therefore you find out dp dv dp dv so dp dv is how much it is equal to k into t max minus from here you are getting 3 mv square okay 3 mv square and if you make this dp dv is equal to zero so in the next line for maximum power transmission this derivative will be zero this derivative should be zero so zero it is equal to k into t max minus 3 mv square right here yeah, this part is not there okay t max minus 3 mv square so from here what we are getting 
what we are getting what we are getting we are getting v is equal to root over of root over of t max by 3m okay v is equal to t max by 3m so this is the condition for which for which power transmission will be maximum which condition velocity if velocity is this much if velocity is this much then only power transmission will be maximum Other, otherwise for other velocities power transmission will be less than the maximum value whether the velocity is more than this v or whether the velocity is less than this v in both the cases power transmitted will not be maximum only for this velocity power transmitted will be maximum and this depends upon what this depends upon maximum tension in the belt okay t max maximum tension and and m m that is a constant quantity that is the de that depends upon the belt material okay so this is the end of this lecture okay thank you for watching this video